welcome back and i trust that uh, you had a good time of going through the homework that we discussed and that i set for you we said that we were going to look at the life of barnabas and we were going to see what the holy spirit was going to reveal to us number 2 was that we were going to watch the video by francis chan and really looking at how do we redefine church and i'm sure that as you watched it it would not have been drastically different to what we have been already talking about micro church and the third area that i said uh, was for you to begin to dream begin to ask the holy spirit for a dream for your micro church it is so important that we follow the dream and the vision that the lord sets for us that we don't just do our own thing but we follow his leading and his guiding let's talk about barnabas for a while i'm sure that you know you have looked at different aspects of his life but he was a amazing man of god right in acts chapter 4 we are introduced by him selling his property and then giving the money over to the apostles for the church and you know to make sure that those in need have been looked after we see how he is sent sent to antioch and in antioch you know he goes and brings paul and they build the church there together and also before we see even that we see how when paul comes to jerusalem to meet the apostles it's barnabas who stands by him remember paul was known as the christian killer so there was a reputation that paul carried and because of the reputation the apostles were not sure whether to trust him or whether to even meet him but barnabas stood by him and he is the one who took paul to the apostles in your micro church you may have people who will come with certain reputations and you know we can learn from barnabas we can learn as to how we could treat people with different reputations you know how our micro church will be open to such people we see the heart of barnabas right through the text from acts chapter 4 right down to acts 15 he was a man who then went on missions with paul he went planting micro churches he went encouraging the churches in different cities and you know his heart was always to build up and to encourage the believers there's so much we can learn from him as a micro church leader we also see paul and barnabas having a, a stiff argument because he wanted to take John Mark and where his Paul said no he's not faithful and I don't want to take him with me and Barnabas and Paul then go their separate ways see again this is a man who stood up for people who was there even for those who were downtrodden he was there for people of different nationalities and so you know my encouragement to you is that there's so much that you can learn from barnabas and so would you now take some time and would you discuss amongst your group what you learned about barnabas share you know one of the key aspects that you saw in his heart what really struck out for you when you read the life of barnabas and also begin to look at what is that one characteristic that you would like to have that barnabas has and i'm sure you know as you discuss and this is how we will do micro church where we read portions of scripture and we come together and share and you will begin to understand that as you share you know you're sharing from your experience from your spectacles and when you hear some other sharing the holy spirit is going to teach you he's going to help you understand even another revelation but when everyone brings their stories together when everyone brings their findings together 
that makes the picture perfect. It's like different parts of the jigsaw being brought together and the Spirit of God then ministers to one another. And that's how we grow even in the context of a microchurch. So would you take some time and would you discuss on what you learned about Barnabas and some of the questions that I, I, I have put down for you.